hello everyone so today we are going to work on how to prevent input smashing for example uh, earlier in the system if i am when i am in the middle of a finisher if i press a regular kick button or punch button that finisher move will be interrupted uh, in this version that you are seeing here it's not happening anymore because i have fixed that uh, I'm going to fix that uh, in this tutorial. So what you're seeing here is the already fixed version. So yeah, let's see how to fix those things today. And before we get started with the tutorial, I'd like to remind remind you that all the projects that I do, uh, you can access the project files in my Patreon page. Link is in the description below. And not just this project, I have done over 1600 tutorials to the date and for all of them you can access the project files in here. Okay, let's get back to the tutorial now. So in the current system, for example, if I keep pressing G, G is the punch, if I keep pressing G, this happens. See, if I uh, smash G button continuously characters start to do the punch but then it get interrupted with the second keystroke so that's one thing we need to fix also oh, uh, also if I interrupt the game when I'm in the middle of a finisher mode, see I'm in the finishing mode. If I press G, now it got interrupted. So without, so in a short uh, animation is fine, but for a long animation, uh, like a choke slam, it would look wrong. So how do we lock inputs according to the situation? Okay, here is the blueprint. So the punching is here kicks and punches if i go inside this macro so for both uppercut lower jab punch kick uh kick up this upward kick i don't really know what's the exact name for that kick down so right so every attack is using this directional attack macro Right. Now here, I'll add a new boolean, ready, and then in the beginning, I'll check if the character is ready by doing a branch. If we are not ready, we should not do anything, and by default, this ready should be true so here I'll collapse this I'll call it ready check and if we are ready now we are going to do some action so I'll mark ready as false so if I consecutively press the say, press another input again since this is false it would not take place okay so once we mark it as not ready we need to mark it as ready either when we finish the action perhaps on notify begin so this is usually when the punch or kick is landed or uninterrupted so if somehow if this animation is interrupted we again need to mark the character as ready so we need more space so as i said uninterrupted set ready as true or here as true and we need to do the same thing here also 
so replicate that right now let's check if I press G oh still it happens why well actually that should be working for example here this is where a notifier begins so after this point only we should be able to to another start another punch but why it's not working okay here in case of our interaction let's add a retrieverable delay of 0.2 seconds for both now let's try what happens see what happens yeah see now it's better even if i keep smashing the button it mostly works out see there we got a problem so maybe point four. Hmm. No, this approach may be wrong because what if while I am in this loop, if this notifier is started, wait, is it even possible? All right. What if if this part is already started, and after that, if this animation got interrupted, this will be called again okay so in that case this would be a problem because if i start a second punch while this retrievable delay is going on even if i set it to false here from the previous point this should become true in 0.4 seconds so we should not have this part at all that's the only way to make sure we are not able to do smashing oh now we have a problem because when we do get interrupted we don't have a way to return this will not be called again so we don't have a way to make this ready again need to disable this also okay so how can we do this so the only way that we're gonna get interrupted is maybe by getting hit before we do a kick before we attack the attacker who were attacking us so that means reaction how do we call reaction here so if we are doing a hit reaction that means we are getting hit so in that case we should mark the character as ready after a while so like this here we can set ready to true this is when we were if we were blocking so if we are not blocking still we should let's say let's give a delay of yeah point two should be fine good enough and even if it is fault the next part should occur here so ready now let's check yeah. 
Oh, no, we don't get to stop. If we got interrupted by by initiated net uh, finish that means here when I'm in the middle of uh, kick if I press F now the character should get stuck oh no right anyway for finishers also mm. What if I? Oh, yeah. This is I should do. In the middle of a finisher move, if I press a regular punch. Yeah, now he didn't complete that. So for finishers also, we need to enable that ready check. Yeah. So in this execute finisher, we can uh, ready check is actually not a macro. It's just a collapsed node. So what I should do is let me expand this and convert it back to a macro. Check. Here I'll call this ready and I'll add another output. Not ready. This is for false. So basically we don't shouldn't do anything if we are not ready. Now for the finishers ready check. Let's do the ready check. And we should make the character ready again only after this step. So here we block movement, but we didn't actually block input. So set ready. Set ready. By the way, these things we already I have already shown how did I implement these parts. So if you are not familiar with this code, you can refer to previous tutorials. You will have the link to the full tutorial series in the description. Okay, now let's check. Okay, now we can perform. Yeah, now if I press G in the middle of the finisher, it's not working. Even if I keep pressing any inputs, it's not working when the character is in finisher mode. Alright, and that's all I wanted to work for today so thanks for watching updated project files will be available for download here in patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of patreon club see you in another episode goodbye